Hey guys, my name is Seniac and welcome to what will potentially become a new series called Banished. Now, just to let you know, I've added a slight twist to this game and that twist is I've installed a ton of mods, which think of this as a banished modded series. And that's only if you guys want me to play it. Now, if you do enjoy this, guys, make sure you leave a big like down below and simply comment, Seniac, you're full. Play more of this and those exact words, and that's all you need to do. Now, guys, if you're new to this game and never seen it before, think of this game as a SimCity slash City Skyline kind of game, but 500 years ago. In kind of almost medieval times, but not medieval times, that makes sense. It's a city building game back in the ye old days. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Look at my people. They look swag as hell. Now, currently, I've just got them cleaning this area over here and getting a load of resources just so I can start building some farm area and getting some food. Now, I've been wanting to play this game for so freaking long. It's unreal. So... There's a load of mods have been installed, and I'll get onto the mods later on. And again, if you are new to this game, it's going to be a big learning curve. Very much as it is for me with the new mods, I've only ever played this game in vanilla mode before. So then, I've got my houses all here. This is the kind of default area it gives you all set up. We've got a stockpile of uh, a few resources there, building materials. Then we have our storage barn, which then holds all of our food, the coats, the tools, and all kind of stuff like that. We also get a few sheep given to us, and I can see some deer over there. Is that deer? Is it deer? Yeah, it's deer. I, in my mind, I was thinking reindeer. I don't know why. And we can hunt those for food. Now, we're right next to a big-ass lake. And if I show you the map, this is what the map looks like. It's very hard to see. I can't make it go any bigger, I'm afraid. But that's the map. We're on the edge here, right there, of this huge lake. Oh my goodness, we got great access to water features. So then, right, also, I have the ability to assign all of my workers, or my population, I only have 12 people at the moment, uh, to individual jobs, which is pretty, pretty damn cool. Now, what I need them to do is clean this area, uh, just so it's all nice flat land like this, so I can start to um, create farms and stuff like that, because we need we need food to keep these guys alive. Now, it's a really good tycoon slash simulation slash management game, and it's a lot of fun. So then, also, it has a really good weather system. It goes like to spring, to summer, and it rains, and it snows, and in the winter, we need to make sure our guys are looked after and they don't die in the winter it's it's a pretty tough management game but it's a lot of fun so then while they're doing that then i'm going to start to make a start and kind of pre-plan where i'm going to have the farms now just to start with i just need the basic essentials to get me all set up and running so i can simply start to survive so i don't want these farms too far away so if i drag one here i make it 10 by 10? No, let's do 12 by 12. Then right next to it. We'll leave a space. Another 12 by 12. Sweet. And I'll do another 12 by 12 here. I'll have four, four farms. Seem good. Yeah, I'll have four farms to start with them. All 12 by 12. There we go. Now, if you guys have played this game before, and you may notice that I've got some different graphics at the bottom and stuff like that, uh, that's because one of the mods got installed. I've got some really cool stuff that allows me to have all different types of houses. Um, kind of, um, I'm not sure if there's any different kind of bridge types. I think they're all normally the same. But market stuff, we've got um, resource exchanges, we've got um, custom markets, we've got silos. Uh, we've got some pretty cool stuff there, root sellers. we got like colleges. Uh, you've got inventions area where people can create their inventions. This is just the mods that are added on top apart from all the stu other stuff that we can possibly have. We've got stuff like um, an apiary uh, which is uh, basically we can have beekeepers and crayer and honey. Fish farms and fountains and a creamery to make cheese uh, and cream from the milk. We have extra distilleries for brewing. And we've got loads of cool decorations and we can actually build, where is it? Hold on. 
Is it in here? We can build like stuff like fountains and stuff. It's just so crazy to what we can actually do in this game. We've got market decorations, more fountains. It's it's really good. We got a lot of stuff in here. Public. We got inns. Oh man, I'm so excited to play this. Right, and so while they're doing that then, I'm gonna get up some paths all set up. So I'm gonna simply start with dirt paths for now. It's not the fastest mode of transport, but it will keep these guys going. To be honest, I can't actually do anything just yet because they need to clean this area. So, this is a small little housing. It's not the perfect setup, but it will do for now. So what I'll do, I'll speed up time a little bit just so I can clear this area. And once I've cleaned it, uh, we then start doing the farms and stuff and we can start planting food and get our people fed Get them fed right, Let's put it back to normal speed because there's other stuff we can actually do um, To get food and an easy way is creating um, I think it's, I think they called are they called ducks in here or fishing duck? Yeah, they're called fishing ducks and this will allow us to catch fish It's going to find a pretty um, good location for it it allows us to catch fish and um, feed our population. So I'll just place in two. Two should be good. Which at the moment, my whole population is basically laborers, which they do um, like mean. Would it, would it tell me? Okay, laborers perform easy work such as cleaning areas, moving produce uh, goods to store. So basically, they clean areas and they move items to and from places. So to actually build. Which I need builders to start building our fishing duck. I'm going to select two of our laborers then to go to basically be builders. Now start building. So if we get a little fast forward on the go now. And then you see our laborers, they start to bring over the materials. As you see, we need we need logs, we need stone, and then we need our builders to start building. So which one's going to get done first? Oh, this one's going to get done first, I think. Uh, it's almost got all the stuff it needs. Okay, it's now being built by a builder. As you can see, if I slow it down. This is as far as I can zoom in, I'm afraid. It's as far as the game will let me. But they're, they're doing something, which is making it do things. Or slightly build anyway. So once they're built, I then need to then hire a fisherman. Okay, so these area now, all this stuff here, it's telling me down at the bottom. My storage is now full. So let's, uh, where's the storage icon there? For a stockpile. We'll increase our stockpile to about there. So then we'll move all these items now and place it on our stockpile section. So let's fast forward. Go. Yeah, we now got our first fishing dock. So that means. Our fishing dock can now have a fisherman. So if I just take away one of our builders, because all we got left to build now is uh, the the, um, the dock, and now place one worker or one laborer as a fisherman. Sweet mate. Which they'll start catching fish, and all the food will go into our storage barn, and then people can eat. So it's always good. It's always good. So food is not only the biggest factor to keeping these guys surviving we need to have blacksmiths to create tools for them to work more efficiently uh, we need um, a woodcutter to create firewood to keep the people's houses uh, nice and warm and stuff like that and we need um what's the other one as well i think it is um is it a tail are they called tailors yeah they're called tailors they create like coats and jackets for our people to keep them nice and warm in the winter yes indeed so it's currently early summer, and this is something else as well, guys. I named my, my little place Springwood. I thought it's a pretty cool name. This is the, at the moment, the small settlement of Springwood. Over time, if you guys let me turn it into a series, we could create this huge mass city, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Right. So then, this uh, farm is now free to go. So we got the option to either plant wheat or cabbage. We'll start with some wheat, which means I need to hire a farmer. So one farmer to the field, please. I should be able to actually now do my dirt roads. So if I, I'm going to fill the um, all the farms here, or put dirt roads all the way around them, so they've got great 
kind of um, transport access. And have that going all the way down to the storage area here. Same with the fishing farms here. I'll have one cut down there. Like that. That's pretty cool. Liking that. Okay. So they've got a few things they need to um, take care of and do at the moment there. So let's just get rid of that. It's going to keep them quite busy. Now, we've got so much area here we need to actually uh, clear. Which, you may be thinking, there is so much there and it's took them a long time just to clear that. It's a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because there's so much like forest and iron and stone here. It's, it's great for building materials. So we've kind of struck gold in the area we've got at the moment. And it's so open and flat. We've got a few mountains here, which again is good for when we create our mines and stuff. So yeah, we got a we got a pretty good setup to start with. So uh, as the builder, have we still got the builder going? Builder going? Yeah. Let's uh, speed up time. Get some of this stuff done. You can see oh the building out in a moment. Wow, I'll hire another builder. Let's get the time going. He's now going along and, and kind of. Making our path super sweet. Right, this one will be cabbage. This one will also be cabbage. So we'll hire two more uh, farmers. And that third one at the top here, or our fourth one, should I say, our last one, is going to be wheat. Right, so pause it quickly. Wheat. And then we got our fourth farmer. Not bad. Right, let's slow it down. We got another duck set up now, so we'll go for that second fisherman. And uh, that should disappear in a minute. Don't hire a fisherman. Uh, fisherman, two. I got two fishermen. Why is that not going? Oh, there he goes. I think it just took a while then to select the fisherman. Right, so our two builders are now working away. Let's get rid of that. Which is pretty sweet. Building the paths around our um, farm area. Let's uh, finish this one up. Is that as far as it's letting me go? I think so. Right then. So, we got our farm set up, which was, and our two kind of fish and ducks, which will start to generate us food um, over time. Uh, another thing we need to take care of is do we have any. Um, is it in this one, this one? We've got 25 firewood, which is not good. And the reason it's not good is down to the fact that the firewood is used by. Um, the people in the houses to light fire to keep them nice and warm. So first, I'll just clean this this area for our labourers to do, actually do something. And I need to now. Uh, where should I? Where should I? How should I do this? Should I have that going down there? Right, I'll have that going down there just for now, and because we're going to get a load of more stock now. Where is it? Which one is it? Stockpile. There we go. So we're placing some more stockpiles there. So all this stuff and resources they're going to be getting will then go straight to the stockpile here. I then need to get... Is it this one? That's no, an iron gatherer. It's this one. Our woodcutter. Now this is someone who turns the wood into firewood to the houses. So we need one of these guys. And I place that building just there. So have I still got the builders going? Uh, yeah, i got two builders. So while they're still doing the path, we'll let them carry on. We're clearing up some of this section now. It's going to be so cool. Alright, slow it down. I'll also um, do some of the path here, designate some of the path um, for these houses. Like that, so we got a nice little... Um, we got a nice little um, kind of plaza that we can eventually have set up. Maybe you can put a fountain in the middle. That'd be like our like our town square, the city kind of centre. Maybe, or well, you never know. As we expand, the city centre might move, or we may even create a new one. Who knows? Who absolutely knows? Right. So we're gonna fast forward then. We'll get rid of this for now, and uh, see this. End. So this still uh, basically needs more resources to it. Now I can change the priority on stuff. I think that is a thing. Is it this one? Yeah. Is that the priority one? No, that's increased priority. 
So I think that they, they then choose to build this one a lot quicker. As you can see now, they're moving onto it. So there's four trees to remove. There's 16 logs that needed to be used to build it. Six stone. And then it's now being built. Sweet. Right, so it's basically been built. I now need a woodcutter. Where are you, woodcutter? There you are. So we should have a woodcutter there. And uh, we have the ability to have limits on stuff as well. So for fuel limit, this means when there's 200 um, firewood in the stock, it then will not produce any more. It will only produce more firewood if the stock for firewood is below 200. Now, I'm initially going to change this to 500. Now, the reason I'm changing it to 500 is because when I've built cities before in the past and I'm building more and more houses and stuff like that, I always forget to change the limit on the firewood. And before I know it, uh, we've run out of firewood. And then simply all of our ha uh, people start to die of uh, like uh, pneumonia because it's too cold. So we got the firewood. Where is it? Didn't that show it on this list? Okay. Uh, food limit. I'm going to change this from 5,000 to 10,000. You know what? Actually, no. I don't want to put a limit on food. Let's just do the maximum. 9999999. Who wants a limit on food? We need as much food as possible. We need as much food as possible. So we got the woodcutter all set up now. It's now autumn. It's starting to rain slightly. Uh, I'm surprised off no one's actually done anything with the farms yet. Wait, did I actually designate people to farmers? I think I did. I mean, farmers, yeah, we got four. Did I not want to work then? Hmm, I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, but we've actually got sheep as well. So, food production, um, a pasture. We need to place in one of these. So, we got those 12 by 12. So, let's keep this going as well. 12 by 12. That's where we're going to handle all our sheep. Now, what's good about sheep is, is not only are we going to get, like, um, lamb or... I think it's lamb. Yeah, it's lamb from sheep we get in the game. But it also gives us wool. Now, what's good about the wool is we can use that to create uh, wool jackets to keep these guys warm in the winter, which it is now. So, we've got, we've got a little bit of fish that will keep us going through the winter. Um, I'm a bit worried. You can click on the houses and see the inventory. They've got a bit of fish and potatoes and some firewood. Which, that's good then. So, it's literally next spring when the winter's over. We need these guys to start hammering down and start making some serious produce. So, is this complete now? I just need some logs. Once he's got the logs, our builders can jump straight onto it. We'll also uh, get the dirt road going around it as well. So we've already got a nice little setup at the moment. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. So let's um, pre-designate a herdsman. Now we've got a little question mark on top of him. Because he didn't know what to do. That's because um, we're assigned to a job. So select sheep. And then that should make... Yeah, it's disappeared now. It's all synced up. And all of our sheep should then walk over. Now, bad. You can see um, that there. Our fuel limit has now reached 500. So we've got 63 there. 81 there. 370 there. Nice. We're going we're gonna to set up pretty good then. The only thing I'm worried about at the moment is food. I mean, we've got 200 fish. So that should keep us going. But you just still just never know. Right, let's slow this down. Let's slow it down. So then, we've got our four farms all set up here. We've got 700 wood, 400 stone, and um, 270 iron uh, all saved up at the moment. So that's going to help us out quite a bit. It's going to help us out quite a bit. Okay then. So, I think we should actually think about building some more houses or something like that potentially or what i may do is expand what else we got here we got gatherers huts oh orchards let's place in two orchards as well now orchards allow us to grow fruit and some of the fruit allows us like if we had pears or apples to create alcohol like if you had apples you create cider 
um, or stuff like that. So it is pretty good though. This one's already done, so we can actually start this one. Can, oh, peak and some pears we get to choose. Not bad, not bad. Which means I need to hire another farmer. So we've got seven laborers left now. We have in total um, 18 adults. Now, we've gone up slightly because we've got nine children in the in our little um, Springwood little village. I don't know what to call it yet. Uh, some of them have grown to maturity and become adults. Now, we do need to build more houses so uh, these new adults can live in there and obviously have their own children and so on and so on and complete the cycle. So we'll have to um, build a few more houses shortly. So... Let's get the path set up again. So let's get down here. I'll do a straight path. There we go. And then we'll build some houses along that. It's going to be beautiful. We'll have that coming straight down as well. Okay. So I think winter's slowly coming off now. It's now late winter. So I'm hoping that these guys then will start to plant stuff. Late it's now early spring. Are they going to start planting? Oh, yes, they are. I, I, was, I don't know what the hell I was looking at then. They're starting to plant now. Good. We need the planting going. We've got a, nearly 200 fish. So it's slowly running out. But that's okay because we've got our pasture set up as well. It's, it's coming along quite nice. Coming along quite nice. So then, we're going to start nice and simple. Then. I'm not going to go too crazy on the houses and whatnot. Because we can have the ability to create wooden houses. Which basically is what these are by default. We can then create stone houses. Now stone houses are a little bit more expensive in terms of resources to create. But it keeps our citizens or civilians, whatever you want to call them, our people, a lot warmer in the winter. Now they're the kind of... And the boarding house. They're the default vanilla objects. Um, houses. Then we have these extra ones. Which I've never used before. So just for now. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. And have some stone houses. We've got we've got a bit of stone to use. So let's go for that. So I can, can I fit in two. Oh damn it. Hold on. i got to get rid of that now. Fool Seniac. Or I can fit in two stone houses there. Let's fast forward this up. I want to see these houses get built. Oh, this is done now. So this can be our pecan one. So we can grow some pecans as well. There we go. And we need to make sure we got a builder selected on it. So I want to see when this house gets built. Straight away, two 11-year-olds move in. <laughs> Oh, KD and Meryl. Male and female. I think they're now in a relationship at 11 years old. Yes, I know. Times were different back then, people. But that means they're now a family. So think of it, forget their age. They're now a family. That's their family home. Over time, they'll have their own children. And they'll all live in here. So that's kind of securing the future for, again, future people in our population. So two more move in, 11 year old and 13 year old. It's so weird. It's so weird. But that's good though. Because we've now secured two families future for potential offsprings. And again, we need those future offsprings. You can see our farms now coming along quite nice as well. So we got our, uh, this was cabbage and this was wheat. <clears throat> Not bad. We've still got fish to keep us going. Yes, we have. So wait, mate. So wait. So wait. So there's other food things as well. Obviously, we've got the orchards, we got the pastures, uh, we got the fishing dock, we got hunting cabins where we can set up like little watch points where we have hunters that hunt like uh, wild animals, like deer and stuff. Like we got, we got a little group of deers over here, so we could hunt them down for deer meat and stuff. Uh, we've got gatherers hut which collect like roots and berries. So there's very there's many um, kind of avenues on how we can get food in the game. So guys, let me know what you think about this game in the comment section down below. If you want to see me turn it into a series and create Springwood to be the mega city of the future. I say mega city of the future. I mean, 
I don't know what time era this is, but it's definitely not the future. <laughs> so if you do enjoy it, guys, make sure you leave a big like down below. If you want to see me turn it into a series, just simply comment down below. Send the IQ forward. Make this a series or something like that. That's all you gotta do, guys. And yeah, maybe we'll see you in part two. Who knows? But until then, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. So goodbye. And we're selling PS4s, Xbox Ones, and smart TVs. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so what goes on? The display case. Video games or books? Now this is a tough decision. Do I choose books or video games? Books or video games? I mean, who reads books these days? <laughs> I'm just joking. We definitely put video games on here though. Damn. Um, cost, how many are we gonna buy? Should we buy all the 25? Damn, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, let's just do it. So video games on the shelf. What video games are there? There's Roblox, there's Goat Simulator, Garbage 